I'm not having this parked outside the house to heat the hot water, Thomas. Why? What will the neighbours think? It's a trailer or cow work. Right, so the second part of the cow poo video, where last time we saw I put some steel pipes in the bottom of the trailer, and welded all them in, and my idea was to run water around the pipes and then connect it to a heating system so we could have free hot water. So it's actually a natural process, decomposition or whatever you call it, from where you turn straw into this. This is a cattle muck. Um, and during that process, it creates an impressive amount of heat. And I've had an awful lot of questions about it. So we're gonna have a look on here. Right, first um, one of the comments. It won't work. Okay. Well, if you don't know, you don't, tr well, don't try, you don't know. Um, tubes inside the wall. We've put tubes, obviously, on the floor of the trailer. Um, a lot of people have been saying, oh, you want tubes down the side of the trailer and increase the surface area. Okay, fine. But because this is actually a gravity system, um, it's not a pressurized system, obviously, we're relying on the gravity to uh, pump it round. I feel if we put pipes up the side of the trailer, we could, we might get, quite a few airlocks and then that would stop the system from working. So yes, if it was a pressurized system, we could probably do that. So something else to look into as well. Um, sheet, someone said, I want a sheet over the top of the trailer to keep the heat in. And I feel as though that probably wouldn't work because we're relying on the, obviously the natural decom decomposition process to get the heat. Whereas if we put the sheet over the top, it's gonna starve starve all the bacteria and everything and the microorganisms, what we want working to get the heat, we're actually starving the oxygen of that, so it's not actually gonna work as well. So I think just doing it like this, where the, the trailer gets loaded, comes outside for a few days or a week or whatever it is, and then goes and gets tipped, and then we refill it again and start the process again. So next thing, we're gonna go do some temperatures. Um, gonna go check some temperatures of what's going on, how hot is it in the muck heap, how hot is, other bits and bobs, what we're looking at as well. Moisture, want to look at some moisture. Does it want to be wetter? I don't know. So also as well, the muck heaps usually want to be between like 50 and 70 degrees. And what I've been looking at, I want to sort of get it to that. And to, to be able to do that on the cattle muck heap, we need to be mixing it up to let air get to it, to get it hotter and hotter and hotter. Sometimes muck heaps actually can self-combust and I have, I have been a victim of this. Uh, what actually happened was I put a load of dry grass in the middle, like two loads, and then we pushed the cattle muck over the top of this. And um, yeah, after a couple of months of it just getting hotter and hotter and hotter, got to about 150, 200 degrees, it self-combusted and caught fire and there's no way you can put it out. You literally have to like spread it on the field with like flames coming out the back of the rotors and everything it was a nightmare so i never want to do that so perhaps we need to look at different materials what we want to mix together you know how do we mix like cattle muck together with horse muck or grass or whatever so that's something else that we can look at this radiator here everyone said oh it's not big enough well it's just what i got out of the scrap bin because i've got a budget of 200 quid trying to trying to do this so if it works we might increase it but we'll see so yeah, that radiator was just for show, really. We want like a big lorry radiator or something with some big inlets and outlets. Um, so what we're gonna do first, we've got some horse muck here and some shavings, and we're gonna go and see how hot that gets to begin with. Um, be quite interesting. Uh, so I've loaded it up last night, and uh, let's go see how we get on. Right, I've just got to the yard this morning, and it is absolutely freezing this morning, like minus three and just see the sun getting up in the distance and here is the cow poo heating system this is um this trailer is only half full at the moment so we need to go and have a do a few tests but i'm actually going to go and fill it up in a minute as well so what we're going to go do now we're going to go and tip this horse manure and wood shavings out of the trailer and we're actually going to dig into the middle of the main muck heap that's in the field, so where all the cow muck goes to, and it, hopefully it's going to be a lot hotter in there than what this is, because we're struggling to get this anything over 22 degrees. I'm now going to dig into the centre of the big heap of straw and 
kettle muck so I can get to the stuff that's really really hot so we can put that in the trailer instead so if I just boom a few bits over the top can't even see the boom look I wouldn't say we're in the middle but we're we've got like the top layer off which is exposed the black um, the black decomposing muck which is what we want it's very very heavy it's go on out we come and that is what we want to put in the trailer because that is the hottest part The great thing I like about this as well, it's all natural because obviously the straw um, was obviously a crappie, the wheat or barley at one stage, so it was a plant. The cow muck, it was obviously grass at some point because that's what you feed the cows, it's just grass. So there's no, no oils, no nothing, it's just water to do the heating. I've just had to open the door and you'd think this sort of smells but it doesn't really. Maybe I'm just used to it but struggling to dig this out even the six ton jcb yeah but i've opened the doors because obviously we were steaming up um couldn't see what i was doing struggled to see what i'm doing anyway if i have the boom anything past that i can't even see what the bucket's doing come on you can see it all going a bit gray now because it's obviously getting well rotted down with all the heat. You see it all just pouring out of the heat, look. Can't even see how full the trailer is. Oh look, it's starting to get full now, look. Next trailer load, and as you can see, she is steaming away. If I feel that that is actually hot. So it's very difficult to actually show how hot this is getting. So I bought something out of the £200 budget. We have spent £29.52 or whatever it was. And we have one of these. And uh, you pull the trigger and um, it tells you on the back here exactly how hot things are so i can now go round and show you how hot it is in that muck heap across the road that we dug this out of how hot it is on the side of this trailer brilliant so if we push that bit over the top it's still steaming away look even though it's about it's got quite warm now today it's like 15 degrees outside so this is what we want to look at so the moment of truth how hot this is the one bucket from the outside. So in the, the further we go into this, the hotter it's gonna get. Like this morning we went like re quite far into it. So about 30 degrees at the moment. So let's take another bucket out. Oh, we're getting some heat out now, look. Just put this one over here. Fifty-two point five. That's about the hottest I've had so far. So yeah, good. I'll show you how it works. Just pull the trigger. Twelve degrees. So the ground is twelve degrees at the moment. So this is quite interesting. Look, we're going to start at the front of the trailer just here. What are we? Thirteen degrees where there's no muck. And then as I come along like that, look, it's going to get hotter and hotter. And then when we get to the middle of the trailer where all the heat is, it should get even hotter. Hopefully, oh yeah, there we go, look. Fit, yeah, get up to 50 degrees. Then come around here, and then it'll start going back down because there's no muck at the very back of the trailer. So, going down. So I've just come around the other side of the trailer because obviously the other side sat in the sun. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna give it a go here. Oh, so there's like 10 degrees difference because it's been sat in the sun. So, yeah, if I go up to the top of the trailer, look. 
yeah it's hardly there's no heat in that at all so it's it's literally this whole part of the trailer here where all the heat is right so the next thing i'm going to do um, a lot of people have been saying the heat is in the middle of the trailer not at the bottom well the pipes in the bottom we've disconnected them from the radiator now and i'm going to fill it with water and then we're going to leave it for a few hours and drain the water into a bucket and see how hot it gets but i'm actually going to shove a tube in the middle of the trailer so we can test the water temperature between the tube in the middle of the trailer and at the bottom of the trailer Ten degrees coming out of the tap, so we're putting the water in at ten degrees. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is just for a bit of fun. I'm I'm just doing it because I quite enjoy doing it, and it's I used to like doing science at school. So I fill all these pipes up with this water, and then um, we'll see what how much it heats up to in the next few hours. So we're going to test the temperature inside the trailer now. It's been sat there for about 24 hours to see if the temperature's decreased. Uh, we've got the Martin Lishman protometer, which we use for testing the moisture in grain. And this bit of rod here is a temperature probe for seeing how hot it is inside of grain heaps. But we're going to stick it in and see how hot it is inside the muck heap. Quick fun farm fact. This uh, butter churn here is a very, very old and my great great or great grandma and great great grandma used to use it to uh, make butter during world war ii so that's like a bit of a family heirloom there's a uh, quite a few flies on top of here now it's all now it's all warming up and that i want to stick this temperature probe right in this oh a hit a stone let's go somewhere like that just uh, there we go go on in you go Right, moment of truth. It's it's actually increased in temperature. Make sure that that's all the way in. Come on. So it was about 50, 51. We've actually increased by probably two degrees. So that's interesting. So it's not actually cooling down, it's actually getting hotter. The first bit, I'm gonna empty this first bit of water that's here out the pipe because obviously that'll be cold because it's not in the muck. Right, let's go for it. It's actually starting to get a bit warmer. I know I know what's happening is there's an airlock in there because I haven't got a pipe on the other end because I just shoved the pipe in and we held the pipe right up and it slowly gug 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 to get down, a bit more comes out, look, then it stops because it's got an airlock, so you have to wait like a minute. So that's my fault, whereas that one will be all right because it's a complete circle, whereas this one isn't because I've just shoved it into the back. Now come around here and look at this, look. We've got like, it's been in there a couple of hours and we're up to like, it's like 33 degrees. So that's not too bad. So if I think, I wonder how long we'd need to leave it for it to get up to like 40 degrees. So 33.1, yeah, 33 degrees, 34, 34 there. So that's not bad. Right, next pipe. Uh, in we go. Have a bit come out. And that will do it. So out of that bottom pipe, look, we're actually 30. 30? Oh look, 27. 28, 30, I think it depends where you put that thing in the bucket, 29, 30, so the middle pipe is hotter, but only by a couple of degrees, so we're learning, we're learning all the time. There we have another little insight of what's going on, uh, quite interesting, we'll revisit it again at some point in the future, always got a lot going on here though, so... 
I'd like to hear your comments, see what you think. You know, is it worth doing? Obviously, we'll have a little heating system at some point. Um, not wouldn't work overly well in here because of all the uh, not an insulated building. But you know, in a house or something, it might be great. Even though the wife doesn't think much to it, but yeah, we'll see. Right, see you all soon. Bye bye.